shock and outrage over a pageant mom who says she's giving her eight-year-old daughter Botox injections. She says her daughter wants them because she doesn't like the wrinkles on her face. Excuse me, hello? She's eight. Uh, this mom might have gotten more than she bargained for because now Child Protective Services is involved in looking into this. Carrie Campbell and her daughter talked to ABC's Good Morning America about the Botox treatments. Look at this little girl. She's eight. Why in the world would she need Botox? The mom says she's professionally trained to give Botox shots. So was this little girl brainwashed into thinking she needs Botox? Listen to her talk about what the injections feel like from ABC's GMA. I do it, but... Um, it hurts sometimes, but I get used to it. We talked about it. She didn't exactly ask me about it, but I know that she was complaining about her face, having wrinkles and things like that. Shows like TLC's Toddlers and Tiaras give us a shocking glimpse inside this competitive world of kitty pageants. So we wanted to know if other pageant moms would go to such extremes and give their kids Botox. Straight out to Mickey Wood, a pageant mom whose daughter Eden competes in pageants. Mickey, uh, some might say the culture of child beauty pageants brought this on. Moms always try to one-up one another. Uh, does this kind of thing go on in the pageant world? An eight-year-old getting Botox? Uh, girl, I have been in the pageant industry for five years. We've been north, south, east, west, uh, fixing to head to Australia this summer, and there is no such practice. I am so outraged at this, and I, I loosely, loosely use the word mother doing this to her child. It, 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 it's the most ridiculous bunch of, instead of Botox, it should be baloney. Oh, my God, it's ridiculous. No, we do not... Uh, I have never, in my five years of uh, being all over the United States doing pageants, never even heard a rumor of a mother doing this. This is what gives the ones of us out there that know that pageants are, are not this big evil monster that that they've made out to be because of whatever reasons, people like this. It doesn't exist. This woman is... is is there something wrong on every level? Well, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Uh, but she says that she's not the only one. That's why we asked you. Now, one mom we talked to today says she thinks giving an eight-year-old Botox shots is actually child abuse. Listen to this. We have been unable to reach the mother, Carrie Campbell, and we've tried repeatedly, but she's invited on issues anytime to tell her side of the story. There's always two sides to a story, so we want to hear from her. We know that the uh, San Francisco Child Services Agency has now launched an investigation and plans to talk to Carrie Campbell and her daughter. Um, i got to bring in Paul Nassif, plastic surgeon. Now, uh, this is a report. I have no confirmation of this independently, but one of the reports said she gets five shots in three different locations. What could that do to a child, a little child's face? You know, first of all, hi, Jane. Nice talking to you. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're talking in this situation. Uh, this is ridiculous, and I've never seen or ever heard of anything like this. Uh, when I did see the interview, the mother was injecting around the smile lines around the mouth. First of all, you don't inject Botox there in the first place. That can cause problems with drooling or swallowing. And uh, you don't do that to an eight-year-old girl. But especially, you don't know how much the mother is actually giving the child. This could actually kill or cause a problem with the child permanently. It is child abuse. Uh, what the heck is Botox anyway? I did it once, and then uh, being an animal activist, somebody said they, they, they said something like, oh, oh they're going to test this, and I said, I'll never do it again. But what is it? Well, you know, Botox um, or Dysport, there are two types. It's botulinum toxin, so it is a purified protein that is used to inject into the muscles to temporarily, shall we say, freeze the muscles from working. Now, when the muscles freeze or not work as hard, the wrinkles are softened on the outside of the what face. What wrinkles? The three She's an eight-year-old. What She does wrinkles? not have wrinkles. They're dimples. They're dimples, for goodness well, sake. Well, you want dimples, don't you? Dimples? Last time I checked, I don't know. Last time I checked, I would like a couple of dimples. Uh, in the right <laughs> places, of course.
Uh, the ladies of The View were outraged when they heard what this mother was doing. Listen to this from ABC. The fact that you would inject this poison into your eight-year-old daughter, this is the dumbest mama I have ever seen in my life. In my life. The mom, Carrie Campbell, says her daughter wanted to try it, complaining of her wrinkles. Well, uh, Dr. Jetta Taylor, if an eight-year-old said, I want to try skydiving, would the should the parents say, yeah, let's go skydiving together? No, it's infuriating, Jane. I mean, this mother missed a major opportunity to teach her child not to succumb to the pressure to be perfect by enhancing her self-esteem and self-worth no matter how she looks. She's a beautiful child. This mother is wrong, and I believe it is child abuse. Yeah, and... Anyway, this is not how beauty is achieved. Talking about bad messages, beauty is achieved from the inside by eating properly, eating pure, clean food, and veggies and fruits, and also exercising. If, if, if you're going to send any kind of a message about being healthy and being fit, because, uh, for example, we have a childhood obesity crisis in this country, uh, it's not shoot injections in your face. It's, hey, honey, get, out, get off the couch and, and, and go uh, do some exercise. This isn't a one-time thing. This little girl reportedly, allegedly, gets these Botox injections, what, let's say, regularly. And the mother of the past has reportedly waxed the little girl's legs. So um, here's what else she told Good Morning America. I do the Botox myself. It's safe. I'm not the only one that does it. And a lot of moms do it. Um, Dr. Janet Taylor, uh, do you think child services should do something about this mother? Because let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she's well-intentioned. Well, if, if she, well, the one thing, the money that she's saving on injecting herself, certainly she can use for psychotherapy. And child protective services should be involved because they are preventative. And if this mother is unaware of the consequences, they can help her understand how to further parent her child when there are other temptations and important decisions that she needs to make. So I am glad that child protective services is involved. And hopefully they can help this family stay together, but learn what they need to do and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. And we haven't gotten into what the mother's psychology is that would lead her to want to do this. But somehow I suspect it's her taking something unfulfilled from herself and deciding to project all that energy on her child and make her child a project. And what I say is, Mommy, heal thyself. Take a look in the mirror. Figure out what you need to work on about yourself and let your beautiful child live a natural life. Uh, Mickey, Dr. Nassif, Dr. Taylor, thank you so much.